If you're using compressors, clippers, or any other dynamic effect, chances are that as you adjust things, it's gonna either get loud or quiet, and it's just very difficult to understand what's going on with these volume changes. For example, I have this clipper in here, and as I turn this knob up, you're gonna see a drastic volume change. Not too long ago, I used to be fooled by this. I thought that was sounding amazing. The, the drum sounding much more powerful, like it has so much aggression now, but it's actually just a volume change and just a tiny bit of saturation. Now, when I put this back in the mix, it's gonna be much louder. All my levels are gonna be not where they were and it's just very annoying. So one way to solve this is auto gain. A lot of plugins have auto gain features now, but some don't like this one right here. But I'm going to show you a method how to activate auto gain in pretty much any plugin in Reaper. So the idea is in the case of this plugin is that as we turn this up, the trim knob should go down the same amount. And just to make this easier for you to see, I'm going to click on this UI button, which shows a more minimal interface. This is the same bottoms that you that I just showed you. The drive and the trim knob. Our goal is that as we increase this one, this one will decrease the same amount. So if we have 6 dB on the drive knob, we should have minus 6 dB on the trim knob. So to do this, I'm gonna put these two back to zero and I'm gonna click on the trim knob like this just once and then click on parameter right here. And you will see last touch trim and it will show you the name of the parameter that you want to modulate and in here you're going to click on parameter modulation and it's going to open this window and in here we will click this last checkbox in here link from effects parameter and in here we're going to choose the parameter that we want to link it to so in this case we want to link it to the drive knob so we click on that now you will see that the trim knob went to minus 12 uh, we can correct this by adjusting the slider in here until it goes to zero. And now if we increase this, nothing happens, but that's because we have to make the scale go backwards. So the scale slider should go all the way to minus 100%. And now when I increase the drive knob, uh, it's gonna match, you see, 2.8 minus 2.8. So now let's play this and I'm going to increase the slider and you will actually be able to hear what the plugin is doing. You see, like it's a very nice plugin, but it's actually way more subtle than I thought. And if I go back to the UI, you will see that these two are linked. So as I move this, this other one looks. And that's a much better experience. When I'm clipping, I'm just looking to trim those edges and it doesn't sound too sharp and just give me a little bit of saturation. So by having this auto gain and something like this, that just sounds great to me. And yeah, I wish every plugin had an auto gain feature. Now you don't have to do this every time. You just do it once and then you can save it. So let's put this back to zero and right click on the plugin and go to effects chain and save selected effects as chain and in here you will save it give it a name and in this case i put jst clip auto game so i can remember that i put that in there and when i search for the plugin it will appear in my list as a chain and when i load it you will see that i just increased this this other knob is changing so it's all ready set to go and that just made this plugin much better to me